Hey, good Friday morning, everybody. It's meteorologist Brad Penovich. A lot to talk about weather-wise. We've got a stalled front, maybe severe weather, cooler temperatures, and a possible tropical system off the southeast. So we'll start with chronological order how things are going to unfold today. First things first, we got to talk about the rain chance. So here's the wide view. Um, you can see all the different ingredients I just talked about. We'll get to the tropical system in a minute. But First things first, we've got a cold front heading down from the northwest, and this is a legit cold front. There is actually some really cool air behind it. This front right here is going to be pushing down here and eventually sagging down here and stalling. Now, when it does that, it's going to usher in some really, really cool temperatures across the region. In fact, I'm going to throw up the temperatures right now just so you can see how cool it is behind this front. I mean, look at this air mass up over the Midwest. You're talking 40s and 50s and low 60s right now when I'm recording this at almost 10 a.m. So that's some pretty cool air that's going to be moving down into the Carolinas this weekend behind the front. The problem is the front's got to get here first and the potential for some severe weather. So you can see the severe weather outlook for today. The area in orange is the medium threat, which is up in Raleigh to Virginia Beach and then back towards Charlotte. Um, we're in that low end risk. I actually think anywhere, whoops, sorry, I grabbed my telestrator there. Um, I really think anywhere in here could see the potential for severe weather, even maybe over into Tennessee as this front uh, approaches from the northwest. So something we certainly got to keep an eye on um, to this afternoon as these storms begin to develop. Um, and I'll talk about those storms first. So let me pull up the radar, futurecast radar, and we'll show you what's going to happen later this afternoon. All right, let's show you futurecast starting at 11 a.m. today. We'll go into the future here. We'll start stop this about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This is when things should start to pop. You start to see thunderstorms popping in the mountains and foothills by 3 o'clock. Things start to get pretty active. By 4 o'clock, we've got scattered storms across the area. So start thinking about Friday night football, first games of the season. Tailgates are certainly going to have some thunderstorms. This is 6 o'clock, so an hour before kickoff. Now, remember, when you look at this guidance, don't get super specific like, oh, there's going to be a storm right over Charlotte. This is a general timing of when the storms are developed. Because storms, by their very nature, are erratic and random, these scattered storms are going to be anywhere in this area. So if you have a football game tonight at 7 o'clock, you see there will be storms around. Now, there's a chance, too, that you'll probably be in between storms. So it's not a, a sure thing. This is about a 50% chance of scattered storms this evening, but there will be lightning with them. So lightning delays could be a big issue. This is eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, midnight, 1 a.m. So you can kind of see how the front is actually starting to take shape. It's actually moving down. You can see it forming here back towards the east. So the front by this time, and again, this is two o'clock in the morning, Saturday morning, the front is somewhere in here drifting to the south. And then that's where things get a little interesting because as it pushes through, it's going to usher in that cooler air from the north. Now, the position of where the front stalls is kind of key. So I have to actually look at a longer range forecast. So what I'll do is while I'm talking to you, I'll pull up the longer range forecast. We'll go out um, 60 hours with this thing. I'm going to load it right now so you can see it. All right, so here's the longer range forecast as we take a look at that front moving down. We'll go same kind of time frame. Notice the 6, 7 o'clock time frame, very similar to our, our short, short range forecast. But look what happens as we go into the overnight hours. I'm going to widen this out a little bit um, and envision the front sagging to the south by Saturday morning. Somewhere, I'm guessing in this vicinity, right in here, the front, and it's drifting to the north. Now, does it stall down here? Does it stall here? Does it stall over Columbia? Those are the questions that are hard to pin down because depending on where it stalls, you can see Saturday, yeah, there could be some sprinkles around, but it doesn't look like a washout. It looks like just isolated showers and sprinkles. So, but it is going to be coolly, cool, cl cool, coolly, cool, cloudy, and damp. So it is going to be kind of a feel like a fall day because we'll have clouds and showers and drizzle around. Um, and when I start looking further into Saturday, it looks like the front stalls somewhere down in here based on where I see the thunderstorms popping up. So that's a pretty good indication on where the front is. But this is one of those backdoor fronts, which we get that cold air wedging. High pressure over the northeast is going to be pushing in northeast winds. But down here, warm air is trying to ride up and over the front. So you end up with this big area of clouds, fog, drizzle, and mist. And that's going to continue for most of Saturday with some waves of showers, especially in the afternoon and possibly even into Sunday. Now, where does this tropical system come into play? You see the mess down here. I'm actually going to turn this model off um, to show you. But there's our, our tropical wave right here over the Miami area. And you see the big area in red? That means there is a 50 to 70% chance this thing's going to develop in the next five days. Could actually develop in the next couple of days. Now, 
the good news for us, this trough coming down should not be, um, should keep the system away from us, but it could get close enough to the coast that we have some, some big time storms. And just to show you the visible satellite loop, here's a look at it. So you can kind of see Florida right here. Here's, you see the circulation. This is over the Northern Bahamas off the East coast of Florida there. That's our tropical uh, wave. It's called Investigation Area 98. We give it a name so we can run the models on it. And speaking of those models, I'll show you real quickly um, just what the models look like and the spaghetti plots. You can see a lot of them bring it over southern Florida at some point this weekend um, and then quickly move it off to the north and east. So for the Carolinas, this doesn't look like much of a threat. And the reason it doesn't look like a threat is if you look at the water vapor loop, you can see the trough, which is bringing that cold front down this weekend is actually going to keep it away from us. So this trough comes down and the winds are blowing like this. So whatever gets up here is eventually going to kick, get kicked out by the same cold front and trough that's bringing us the rain and the cooler temperatures. So be thankful that that front is getting here first. I'm always worried about these type of setups because if they come in together, you get a front to stall and you get the tropical moisture. But in this case, that's not what's happening. The trough and the front are moving in much quicker. Now, just to show you how strong this thing can get, this is the intensity forecast for this tropical uh, wave and pretty consistent. All of them are uh, high end tropical depression, maybe mid to low end tropical storm. Nothing really brings it up to category one strength right now. And the reason that is the case is because it's going to be pretty close to land the next couple of days. Its best chance of development would be if it gets out over the, the warmer waters of the Gulf Stream um, probably early next week in this vicinity and then over in here. So if it's going to develop into a hurricane, it's going to be here. Down here, it's just going to be a whole lot of rain for Florida. So this cooler air moving in is going to be really, really nice that heads in this weekend. In fact, I'm going to show you that uh, the cooler air coming in real quickly because I think it's going to be pretty amazing to see how cool these temperatures get. So I'm going to load these up and we'll kind of show you. See the cool air over the over the northeast, boy. Watch this load in real time and you'll see that cooler air begin to sag to the south and kind of displace all of this really hot and humid air that is sitting over the Carolina. So this is going to be a really, really nice cool down heading our way going into the weekend. So pr prepare yourself now. It is going to be nice around here, though you may have to dodge with some showers and rain around. And of course, we'll keep an eye on this tropical wave to see what happens. I'll post updates today and throughout the weekend. But again, big cool down tonight. And if you're going to a high school football game, make sure you're ready for a lightning delay for those Friday night games. Have a great Friday, everybody.